The Nintendo Switch version of Horizon Chase Turbo will come with a new game mode to shake things up. Playground It's a collection of limited-time races for all kinds of players. Playground presents a rotative competition that comes with five new races each season. Each one has its own leaderboard, both global and friends only, with integrated ghosts. These are time-limited tracks that will always bring something special to the table. Time attack races with no opponents, changes in weather and time of day, mirrored races, infinite nitros, restrictions on which cars competitors can use, and many other surprises. This is the Nitro Storm event, a race from the first playground season. This race is in cinematic mode, meaning there's a minimum UI occupying the screen to get you really immersed. It's the good old Acropolis track, but this time with a single lap and infinite nitros. The challenge will be using them at the right places to reach first place in such a short space. Each race presents two levels of challenge for playgrounders to take on. Beating the computer opponents may be hard depending on the race, but you can always take it up a notch and fight to climb the leaderboards. Races come in one of five difficulty levels, meaning there's something for every type of Horizon Chase player. The next one is Sand Attack. A traditional Brasilia race, but this time it takes place in a sandstorm, affecting the car's handling. It's got only two laps and no opponents other than your target time. This challenge looks simple, but this time you play with the same upgrades as you have installed in the campaign so far. That means progressing in the campaign will help you climb the boards in this one didn't manage to catch the ghost. Too bad. But we will keep trying while the season lasts. In playground mode, each season brings a new set of surprises and a new place to compete. Expect to see sandstorms in Iceland, volcanoes in California, and new game-changing rules. You never know what the next season will bring.